Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I will be showing you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 after the latest update. So after the new update, a ton of people are getting FPS drops and overall low FPS. Hence inside of this video, I will be showing you guys how you can fix FPS drops, get more FPS and lower input lag in Fortnite Season 5. This is going to be a bit longer guide than usual because I want to cover more methods to help you guys inside of this video. Also Merry Christmas to all of you guys so consider this guide a Christmas present from me to all of you. Make sure that you guys stay safe while celebrating in these difficult times and also help as many people as you can. If you guys will be picking up any from the Fortnite item shop for this Christmas, then make sure to use code Regnetic to help support me and the channel. And also, 92% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure that you guys show your support by pressing that subscribe button and helping us reach 17,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So, with that said, let's get this video started. Starting off the optimizations, we are going to be completely reinstalling Fortnite. If you guys don't know, this step can tremendously help you guys to fix all of the FPS drops, audio stutters and lag issues that you could be having in Fortnite. To do it, what you guys need to do is go down to your Epic Games Launcher, open it up. Once it opens up, go into the library. So once you guys are here, click on these three dots and click on uninstall, then download the Fortnite again. Since the download size of Fortnite has reduced, it should be really easy for all of you guys to reinstall Fortnite and I highly recommend you guys to download it on an SSD if you can. Once you guys have completely reinstalled Fortnite, the next step that you guys want to do is right click on these three dots again and click on options. Then make sure that these high resolution textures are unchecked and as you guys can see the download size will be zero and the overall required storage space will be less as well. Once you guys have done that, hit apply, then let it do its work, it's going to update and now it just literally took 3 seconds or something. This does not make any difference on texture quality whatsoever but it will reduce the Fortnite file size which is going to help you guys download it faster and also put it on SSD drives. So I highly recommend you guys to do these two steps before doing anything else. So after you guys have reinstalled Fortnite and also uninstalled the high resolution textures, go down to settings and then scroll all the way down to Fortnite, expand it and make sure that there is nothing inside of here because all of these commands don't work anymore and there is no need to put them inside. In some cases they will even give you FPS drops so we don't want that. Therefore just go ahead and clear this out then uncheck additional command line arguments and now you can go back and close out of this as well. After doing all of those optimizations inside of the Epic Games Launcher, we are going to be resetting the Fortnite cache so that the next time we load up Fortnite, it starts with a completely new configuration and brand new settings so that we can optimize it even more. So in order to do that, head down to your start menu and search for percentage local app data percentage. Go ahead and open it up. Once this folder opens up, right click on the Fortnite game folder, click on rename and then just put one at the end of it. Then press enter and this will not change any of your keypoints, it will only change the graphical settings. So if you guys are using performance mode, you might have to apply that again. But if you guys want to revert this step, you can just go ahead, right click on it and then just remove one from the end and that's it. But I highly recommend you guys to do this step so that you can have a brand new and fresh start to Fortnite. Once you guys have done that, you can close out of this and now we can move on to other optimizations. In order to continue along with this guide, you guys will need to download the Fortnite Season 5 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack made by me. I will provide two links in the description, you can just go ahead and use either one of those to download the pack and after you guys have downloaded it, you guys will need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract it. So just go ahead and extract it using either one of those because both of them are free. And once you guys have extracted the pack, go ahead and open it up. And we are gonna be starting off by creating a system restore point. So just go ahead and open it up. I highly recommend you guys to create a system restore point because it acts as a checkpoint just in case that some of these tweaks don't work out for some of you guys. You can just go ahead and set everything back to their default with a few clicks. So I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and create a system restore point. So once this window opens up, click on the driver you guys have installed your windows. Click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is checked. Set the max usage to around 5%. Then hit apply, hit ok and then click on create. You can go ahead and name it anything, I'm going to name it Fortnite. As long as you remember the name, it really doesn't matter. Then click on create and that's it, that's how easy it is to create a system restore point. Once the restore point is created, hit close, hit ok and then go into the first folder that is the fix audio stutters. Inside of here, all of the registry files will help you guys to fix the audio stutters that you could be experiencing inside of Fortnite. So for the first one, fix audio status in Fortnite, right click on it, hit merge, hit yes, 
hit yes and hit ok. Then do the same for the second one that is the higher GPU priority for Fortnite. Double click on it, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. This is going to make sure that our GPU is prioritizing Fortnite instead of other background apps that could be eating up the CPU and GPU resources. Then for the Fortnite normal priority and high priority, I recommend you guys to test both because for some people, running Fortnite on high priority causes a lot of FPS drops and stutters. For others, running Fortnite on normal priority causes FPS drops and stutters. So I recommend you guys to use both of them and test and see which one works better for you. For me, Fortnite normal priority works better so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Hit yes, hit yes and OK. After that, go back into the pack and go into the second folder that is the lower input delay. For this one, we want to right click on the input delay reduction, then run it as admin, hit yes, and then let it do its work. After that, right click on the lower latency one, run it as admin, hit yes, and that's it. Now we want to copy this ISLC folder to our desktop, so just go ahead and copy it, paste it on your desktop, and we will be using this at the end of the video. For now, go back into the pack and go into the third folder that is the Fortnite optimizations. The first one is the RAM optimization, which is going to optimize our RAM slash memory to give us a smoother Fortnite experience. So just go ahead and double click on it, hit yes, hit yes again and hit OK. As for the CPU optimization, it will do the same thing as we did with the GPU, prioritizing Fortnite to our CPU. And as you guys know, Fortnite is a highly CPU bound game. So this registry file should help all of you guys tremendously with the FPS drops. So just go ahead and open it up, hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. Then for the full screen optimizations, go ahead and apply this registry. Hit yes, hit yes again and hit ok. Then go ahead and right click on the unpack CPU, run this as admin, hit yes. And we are going to be unpacking all of our CPU cores so that we can get the maximum out of our processor. Once this program opens up, make sure that this core parking index is set to 100%. Hit apply, hit OK and now you can close out of this. Now we have successfully unpacked all of our CPU cores and now we can get the maximum performance out of our CPU. So once you guys have applied all of those optimizations, you can close out of this pack and even delete it if you guys want to. But for now we are going to be looking into how to use the ISLC properly. So just go ahead and open it up. Right click on the intelligence standby list cleaner and make sure that you guys run it as admin. Hit yes and this program should open up in your taskbar so just go ahead and open it up from there. Once it opens up, if the start button is grayed out then click on stop and then click on per standby list. After that, the list size is at least, make sure that you guys put 1024 inside of here and the free memory is lower than this should be half the size of your total system memory. In my case I have 16GB of RAM so I'm just going to put 8000 which is roughly equal to 8GB. Once that is done, just go ahead and make sure that both of these boxes start ILC minimized and launch ISLC on user login are checked. Then go ahead and set the wanted timer resolution to 0 0.50. Make sure that enable custom timer resolution is checked as well. As for the polling rate, some people try to set it to 500, others try to set it to 1000. I personally recommend 1000 because it works better for a lot of the people that I have tested on and myself as well. So just go ahead and set it to 1000. Click on start and then your current timer resolution should be set to 0.5 millisecond. Then just go ahead and minimize this, close out of this and make sure that ISLC is running in the background while you are playing Fortnite otherwise it won't work. So once you guys are done playing Fortnite and close out of it, just go ahead and open it up again, click on stop and after that you can close out of this. Moving on, we are going to be setting the right value for our paging file size in order to help us reduce the stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite. So in order to do that, head down to your start menu and search for this PC. Go ahead and click on properties. And once this window opens up, click on the advanced system settings. Then click on settings and then go into the advanced section. Then make sure that the adjust for best performance is set to programs and not the background apps. Sometimes Windows automatically just sets it to background services which will cause huge FPS drops and stutters in any game that you play. So make sure that it's set to programs and not the background services. Then click on change and then just set this to automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK again, we will be restarting later. Then hit apply, hit OK and hit OK. Restart later and then close out of this. After applying all of those optimizations, we are going to be optimizing our Windows settings. So go down to your start menu one more time and then click on settings. And once the settings open up, go into system 
and inside of the display tab make sure that your scale and layout is set to 100% recommended or for some people they have like 125% recommended so just go ahead and set this value to the recommended one because windows has this bug which causes input delay if you guys don't have it set to the recommended value for most of the people it will be 100% so just go ahead and set it to that after that go into the notifications and action make sure that the notifications are turned off and all of these boxes are unchecked as well moving on from there go into the focus assist and make sure that this is turned off as well and also make sure that all of the automatic rules are toggled off once that is done go back into the settings and go into the personalization Inside of here, go into colors and make sure that the transparency effect is set to off. We don't want any transparency effects inside of our taskbar or our windows. So just go ahead and set this to off. This should help you guys get a bit more FPS and overall low input delay. Once that is done, go back and then go into apps. Inside of here, go into the startup apps and make sure that you guys disable any of the apps that you don't want to start up every time your windows boots up. Only leave those apps on that you do want to start up every time your windows boots up. For example, I have my mouse software turned on because I want it to start up every time with windows. I have the Vanguard Ray notification which helps in playing Valorant and then there is the Epic Games launcher that I want to start up with windows. Other than that, I have disabled almost everything. Once you guys have disabled all of the apps that you don't want to start up with your windows, go back into the settings again and this time go into gaming. Inside of here, make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off and also this box is unchecked. Then click on the game mode and make sure that this is turned on because this is going to help you guys get a bit more FPS and improve the overall performance of your PC inside of Fortnite. After that, go into the related settings and click on the graphics settings. Once this opens up, for some of you guys, you will have the hardware acceleration option inside of here. I highly recommend you guys to go ahead and set that to on because turning that option on will give you guys more FPS. So once you guys have done that, then go ahead and set the choose an app to set preference to desktop app. Then click on browse and then go into the directory of your Fortnite. For most of the people, it will be their C drive, program files, epic games. Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64 and then you guys will see these four applications with the Fortnite logo on them. Just go ahead and select the first one which has the largest file size as well. Click on add, I have already added it. Then go ahead and click on it, click on options and make sure that you guys set it to high performance. Then hit save and now you can go back. Go back into the settings and this time go into search. We are going to be optimizing as such as well so that we can get as much performance out of our PC as we can. For the safe search, make sure that this is set to moderate and then just go ahead and uncheck anything that you guys might have such as history and all that. Then go ahead and click on searching windows and for this one, make sure that the find my files is set to classic and that's it. Now you can go back, go into the privacy settings. These are one of the most important settings inside of here and we are going to be turning everything off inside of here except for our camera and microphone. So inside of general, just go ahead and set everything to off, speech, everything off and everything up till your camera. Make sure that you do not turn off your camera otherwise you won't be able to use it. Same thing with your microphone, just do not go ahead and turn off your microphone because you won't be able to use your microphone if you do so. Other than that, just go ahead and set everything off such as notifications, voice activation, calendar, phone calls, task and the most important setting that you guys want to be turning off inside of here are the background apps. So just go ahead and make sure that you guys have set it to on and manually toggle off everything except for your graphics card control panel. So if you guys are using an Nvidia graphics card then just like me set the Nvidia control panel to on and everything else to off. If you guys are using an AMD graphics card then set the AMD control panel to on and everything else to off. This is going to help you guys get a lot more FPS because once again Fortnite is a highly CPU bound game and these apps running in the background consume CPU resources causing high CPU usage which in turn causes stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite. So this step should help you guys fix most of your stutters and FPS drops. Then go back and this time go into the update and security. Then go into the second option that is the delivery optimization and inside of here make sure that the allow downloads from other PCs is toggled off. Then go into the advanced options and then for the download settings set it to percentage usage. Make sure that both of these boxes are checked and set these sliders to the lowest value that is 5%. Do the same thing for the upload settings. Check both of these boxes and set the value to the lowest possible. And that's it. Now you can go back and now you can close out of the settings as well. So yeah, those are all of the optimizations inside of this guide. 
which should help you guys completely optimize your PC and get the maximum amount of performance that it can give you. If you guys enjoyed this video then make sure to drop a like down below and as I said guys 92% of you guys watching my videos aren't even subscribed so make sure that you guys press that subscribe button and let me know. If you guys will be buying anything from the Fortnite item shop then make sure to use code Ragnetic or use anyone else's code. Make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy. Help others and spread positivity whenever you can. And with that said I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.